Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY 3D Tech. One of the things in this episode, you notice I don't have it sitting on the pad. For some reason, utilizing this was giving me all sorts of fits. I don't know if it's because I have it wound up and there's metal in there. But I was having an issue with compass calibration, gimbal overload. It was just really acting funny. If I set it on the ground, I don't have a problem. So, anyways, I am going to try it from here. And I'm going to go ahead and take it up. I've checked hover. We're clear to fly. It's cutting a little grass. But we're up. Uh, home point position, altitude, everything seems to be set. Now in this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this switch to sport mode. And so maximum flight speed, braking distances will be significantly increased. Okay. So I've now agreed to that. I'm going to keep this fairly low. Because I don't know how it's going to respond. Definitely a lot faster. So uh, let's go ahead and get video recording going. I almost feel like Mr. Steel has moved so fast now. So this is uh, interesting. Let's see how the yaw party works. Yeah, yaw party works pretty good. Definitely bra braking is a uh, far different story with this in this mode. High angle of attack on, on its movements. Wow. Definitely does make it a sporty little beast. But um, the responsiveness is a lot, I mean, it, it, to, to stop or... Uh, whatever the overshoot it really runs so again I don't know if you're seeing this but you're definitely seeing the video of it and you can tell from the video it, it's 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 really so I've gotten got it doing a, a circle and one of the ways you make it do a circle is you just hold it you just hold the stick forward and you give it yaw so, so we're going to switch circles. So again, you want to give it about half yaw. I'm giving it about half yaw, full stick. And again, I'll shoot it to the left right here. And you want to have a pretty big area to do this in. And I want to bring it back a little bit. It's getting out there a little bit for me. Hard to see it. I take it out in this field a little bit more. Let's uh, let's get a little bit more air on it. Whoa. Sounds really cool with it in sport mode. I want to get it closer out to the center of that field. It seems to be more of a NASCAR bird. It likes going to the left more so than the right as far as making these uh, circles. I'm really not sure what I'm getting on FPV because I'm just really flying at line of sight right now. Letting off the stick so it heads back out closer to the center of that field. And then we're turning it around again. Just making sure everything's still clear. And we're whipping it back around. We're going to pop it out of that spin so it comes straight up. And then we're going to put it into a right turn. You definitely fly in sport mode need a lot more space. I bring it back to the center here. And right turn. And we'll race it up field. 
and then we'll hit it into a hard reverse coming back this way. One of the things though with that yellow really is a strong directional orientation because is it because of that high angle of attack when it's coming at you you can see the yellow pretty good uh, versus when it's going away from you it's black so I know if it's black going away from me and I don't know if you can see it this way but coming at me it's yellow so I can definitely tell which way it's pointing this is a lot of fun with uh, in sport mode I gotta tell you guys this is almost like a junior FPV racer So I want to let it sit for a second. I need to put my glasses back on. Uh, battery's not doing too bad for as hard as I've been pushing it. I'm down to 43%. Let's do a... Let's do a... Eh, the upward is still pretty slow. So uh, let's again go... Let's take it out and again yaw it. Do some higher altitude. She loses a bit of altitude when, when you do the roll the circles up high. Interesting. This is a lot of fun, guys. So I'm not talking too much in this one. I'm uh, really paying attention. I am not that. I am not. Uh, racing drone flyer and so I'm trying to pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing because I don't want to destroy my new $700 drone. But I do want to have some fun and I'm having some fun here guys I gotta tell you this alone this this alone I think was worth the price of admission. Uh, I wonder why I wonder why DJI do, they don't uh, advertise this a little bit more because this is uh, this is a lot of fun you can't do this with the Phantom 3. You know, you could probably do a little bit of this. I'm not even sure with the Mavic, even with its size, you could really, you know, get it to race around like this. I've never really tried flying a Maverick like this. But I tell you what, I mean, look at this thing. Look at it go. Then let's slam it around back towards us. And look at it take off like a bat out of you know where. And here we come back again, and let's spin around again. Yeah, I want to make sure I don't hit that tree. One lonely tree, my luck I'd hit it. Okay, so I need to bring this back around to me. So it's now. Uh, let's see. Let's see how ho return to home works with it in sport mode. Let's see if uh, because it's now doing the return to home. I just need to be careful because I did a compass calibration here under this uh, this shelter area, and I want to make sure that uh, I'm not uh, going to land on it. So let's. Uh, Let's see what this does. So far, so good. And I don't know. It looks like it may want to land on this building, which would not be a good thing. So let's see. Let's see where it does. Now, I think I think we should be good. I think we should be good. I just want to. Yeah, we should be good. Yep. I wonder if it'll, if I can do the... Nope, doesn't work. I'm just going to let it go down. I'm not going to try that trick again. Uh, so I'm going to save out... Okay, so I saved out the video. 
Uh, another great flight of the Spark in sport mode nonetheless. I tell you what, that's worth two thumbs up. I, I really enjoyed the uh, Spark in sport mode, so... Uh, I tell you, that alone I think is probably worth getting it if you want to go somewhere in between a pseudo FPV racer and having a selfie follow me YouTube drone. This guy's it. I gotta tell you, I'm really geeked about how this works and everything else. So, anyways, thumbs up. You know the routine. Subscribe button. Let me know what you had for lunch down below. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.